Hi, I am Dr. Gopi, a senior interventional cardiologist at Fortis Hospital, Cunningham Road. So today, I am going to talk to you about first aid measures during a heart attack. To know, or to, to know what is to be done when somebody has heart attack, I think first it is important for us to understand what are the symptoms and signs of heart attack. The second would be, in case there is a heart attack, how do we reach the hospital? So these are certain you know, prerequisites that we need to sort of acquire before we, we feel that we are prepared to uh, tackle such a situation. So in a, a heart attack is a situation where a part of the heart muscle is gets deprived of its blood supply by the formation of a blood clot inside the blood vessel of the heart. So when a blood clot comes and you know, occludes the, the, the vessel, a, a region of the heart gets, you know, does not get any blood supply and as a result the, the tissue starts dying. Now when the heart muscle is dying, you know, it gives rise to symptoms. The most common symptom for a heart attack is the patient would experience a central you know, discomfort over the chest. Some people describe it as pain but it need not necessarily be pain. Many people would tell us that they have a feeling of heaviness of the chest. Some people may tell us that if they feel as though the chest there's a burning sensation in the chest. So you may have various you know symptoms for a particular person, but it will basically be that there's a discomfort at the central region of the chest. Now, in addition to this, you might have this discomfort traveling up to the up to the neck, to the jaw, sometimes to the left shoulder, and even along the inner aspect of the left arm up to the fingers. So this is the primary or most common symptom related to a heart attack. In addition to this, it may be accompanied by sweating, a feeling of distress. Sometimes some patients may have you know, some uh, nausea, vomiting. All these are the symptoms of heart attack. Now, if, su- if such symptoms you know, last for, let us say, more than 10 minutes, then you know, the suspicion of a heart attack becomes very high. So that is when you need to reach the hospital as early as possible because time is muzzle. The faster we are able to remove that block and re-establish blood supply to the heart, the heart muscle will get you know, preserved and prevent the damage as such. So now, in every family, I think it's important to have some you know, discussion about these things even much before such a thing happens. Like, you, 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 you might want to know where, where, where do you take this patient? Who is the doctor? So for these certain you know, critical information should be always kept next to the telephone like the telephone number of your doctor or the nearest hospital nearby these are very important information which at the time of you know, when there is panic it may be you may waste time trying to find this this sort of contact information so i would recommend that everybody you know keep these informations at hand on next to the telephone so that whoever is uh, involved in you know getting this or uh, calling the hospital or the doctor they will be it will be easy for them to you know f- uh, find out that then once we have a suspicion that either somebody has got a heart attack what you need to do is while somebody is making arrangement either to call the ambulance or call call a doctor make sure that this person is at rest he should not be you know walking around the tossing turning make make sure he takes rest and if by chance you have you happen to have some you know, medications at home especially a disprint tablet or a sorbitrate tablet if it's a disprint you, you know drop it in a glass of water it gets dissolved and give it to the patient to drink if you have a sorbitor tablet, you know, keep it under the tongue of the patient and this might actually you know, uh, give relief to the patient and you know, help to re-establish the blood supply as such. But if these things are not available, it's important, do not waste time sending somebody to the pharmacy to try and get this because we'll be wasting valuable amount of time. Now once the, uh, and, you know, once the patient you know, reaches the hospital, you know, it could either be you could take the patient by an ambulance or you could take the patient in your own car. But what one thing is, the patient should not drive because what happens is, majority of deaths that takes place following a heart attack happens in the first one hour. And this is the time when many people are in the process of reaching a hospital. And suppose something happens to you while you are driving, you know, or, to the, or when the patient is you know, driving, not only the patient's life is at danger, so many others' lives are also at danger. So unless, you know, there's absolutely no other option, it's always better that somebody drives you to the hospital. And second thing is, if an ambulance is nearby, it always makes sense to get the ambulance to drop you because it means that you're bringing the hospital home. First aid measures in terms of monitoring, in terms of treatment, could actually start off in the ambulance and we gain time and information already reaches the hospital 
much before the ambulance reaches and the the you know the emergency department is uh, ready for the patient and for all the emergency measures that are required now once the patient reaches the emergency department the first thing is they would they would you know record the vitals like the blood pressure the heart rate of the patient and then take an ecg ecg is the most important diagnostic you know test for diagnosis of a heart attack in an if a ecg is taken in about 70 to 80% of patients who have a heart attack the ecg will show abnormalities and we can make a diagnosis of an heart attack once this is done then the rest of it the hospital will take care and decide what is the most appropriate treatment for you you know after after consultation with the cardiologists